Hi everyone, it's Katie Crysdale here from Lakeview Aquatic Consultants. Welcome back to your weekly Aquatic Industry Insider. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a reported electrocution at a pool in Mexico. And I wanna start by saying I completely forgot about this case. So last week I was reading my Google News alerts and everything was covered in the reports for the Houston entrapment death, Leah Lynette Jaco. I've covered that entrapment as we understand it so far in a couple of other videos, but somewhere buried deep in those Google News alerts, I did see this initial report about this electrocution in Mexico, and I filed it away as something to investigate further, and then I completely forgot about it until I went to my chiropractor today, and he had just come back from spring break with his family in Mexico, and as soon as he said Mexico, Cancun, I went ding, 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 there was that case I wanted to look at further. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Not a lot of details are available, and so please take with a grain of salt the information that we're gonna review from these news articles is limited, both in terms of reporting, in terms of detail. But I really think it's important that we talk about these types of incidents when they occur, even if we don't have all the details to know exactly what happened, because it is something that we can learn from in terms of creating better systems at our aquatic facilities around the, the particular issue that happened somewhere else. So for example, here in Alberta, there was a terrible electrocution fatality in Canmore last year. I believe it was 2003. I will put a news article up here on the screen. There hasn't been a lot of details publicly re released. I haven't necessarily done any privacy requests nor do I know if they would be honored because they were at private vacation properties that are not required to disclose this information. But all of this to say that electrocution deaths in the pool industry are not as widespread in terms of their reporting. That doesn't mean, in my opinion, that they're not happening. And so when these incidents occur, I think we need to take the opportunity to learn from them, even if we don't have all the details. So this was the original news article I read last week when it first came out. The way the Google News Alert works is it scrapes the data as it's published on the internet for specific key terms. And I have entered the terms drowning and swimming pool. And so every day I get a collection of news articles. It could be something as simple as, you know, travel and leisure, top 10 hotels to visit in Asia. It could be a design website. It could be a trade publication, you know, a new product that's released. It could be any sort of blog or list or YouTube video. In fact, when we release these aquatic industry insider videos, they are scraped by Google and end up in that list. And so deep in that list was this one mention of an electrocution. And so I want to look at this in a little bit more detail. This is from the site Riviera Maya News, the official Cancun Playa del Carmen daily Mexico news headlines. So this did occur in Mexico last week. And so this article is dated March 29th, and it says three Puerto Morelos hotel guests rushed to Cancun hospital after electric pool shock. So this article has been updated, and I'm glad to see it's been updated because the initial version I read didn't necessarily make sense in terms of the medical treatment. So the updated article, I don't have access to the original article, states Three hotel guests remain in hospital after being electrically shocked while in a swimming pool. All three are members of the same family. The incident happened in a Puerto Morelos hotel Thursday evening when a 14-year-old girl entered the swimming pool and her mother saw her in trouble. The mother jumped in to rescue her, followed by the father. All three were electrocuted. Um, I really don't like that the heading says electrical pool shock electrocution is more likely to be what actually occurred here. There was not a little buzz electric of electricity. There was ongoing electricity probably going through the water that then resulted in these medical emergencies. According to early information, <clears throat> hotel staff were able to cut power to the pool area so paramedics could attend to the three injured. The accident happened around 7.30 p.m., all three were transferred by ambulance to a private Cancun hospital. Uh, civil protection elements arrived to begin an investigation and the nationality of the three hotel guests is unknown. 
So the update, as I understand it from when I read the original article, the original article suggested that two of the three guests had already been discharged from the hospital, and that simply didn't make sense to me. So this article has been updated to say that as of the time of the update, all three hotel guests remain in hospital after being electrically shocked, electrocuted. And then the press statement here tells us the site of the property. The Hotel Azul Beach Resort Riviera Cancun regrets to inform that an incident occurred in a, one of its pools affecting three guests. However, thanks to rapid intervention of emergency services, it is confirmed that those affected are not at risk to their health. Since the beginning of the event, the safety and well-being of those involved have been the top priority, immediately activating emergency protocols and providing support from hotel staff. The three guests are currently receiving treatment at a local hospital, and according to latest medical reports, they are out of danger. Keep in mind, you have to take with a grain of salt a press release. We don't know when it was released. We don't know what information they actually had. The suggestion of the latest medical reports could be completely accurate and factual, or it could be sort of a look over there uh, technique. It's important to clarify that unlike some versions circulating, the guests did not suffer serious injuries or burns and no hotel workers were affected. So it's not that I'm a doctor and I have any reason to disbelieve the statements. I do find it very interesting though that there was only rapid intervention by emergency services. Up here it says, according to early information, hotel staff were able to cut power to the pool area so paramedics could attend to the three injured. So that leads me to believe, just based on this news article, that hotel staff were unable to extricate the people from the pool. There was ongoing electricity, potential electrocution. And so that doesn't mean that paramedics didn't arrive promptly. They didn't provide good quality care. That doesn't mean that the guests are not in good condition. I have some skepticism about the interests that are conveyed, which is usually namely the hotels in the press release. So this was the original article last week and it has been further updated. Let's take a look at the two articles that I saw that came out today regarding the same incident. And I also wanna take a look at the location of the uh, place in Mexico, as well as the property. So the location in Mexico is Puerto Morelos. It's a Mexican port town on the Caribbean coast of the Yucatan, on the Caribbean coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. It's between the Riviera Maya resorts of Cancun and Playa del Carmen. So. Initially, I was wondering how there weren't more reports of this incident, but now seeing that the population of the town is only about 10,000 people, I'm not surprised that there might only be one or two newspapers, one or two news agencies. Uh, so these are the only other two articles about this story. This one is from the Cancun Sun, investigation underway into tourists electrocuted at Puerto Morelos Resort. This was updated six hours ago and it restates a lot of the same information. An unfortunate incident occurred recently at a hotel in Puerto Morelos where three members of a tourist family, including a minor, were electrocuted when entering the swimming pool to cool off during their spring holiday vacation. So just a stock photo says a lot of the same thing, right? They came on a vacation. The 14 year old girl entered the pool. She started showing signs of being electrocuted in the water. The mother, alarmed at what she was seeing, jumped into the pool to save the child and suffered the same electrocution fate. The father followed in to try and save the mother and daughter. This one says lifeguards sprung into action at the hotel and cut the power to the area. They immediately worked to rescue the family in the water. According to a report of the incident, when municipal authorities and first responders were alerted to the incident and showed up at the scene. They were denied access to the incident. Three members of the family were transported to a facility hospital in Cancun for emergency care. The latest reports of the incident indicate that they are now out of danger, but nobody says what that report is, who it came from, what qualifies them to make that statement. The case has been handed over to the state of Quintana Roo prosecutor's office and the Puerto Morello Civil Protection for Investigation. 
As of the publication of this article, official details as to what occurred and the associated details are unavailable as an active investigation of the dangerous safety incident is underway. Uh, here is the statement from the hotel, which unfortunately is not actually on the hotel website. It takes us over to the article that we just looked at. And then it goes on to say that there was a, an electrocution death of a Canadian couple in 2015 at a resort in Playa del Carmen. It goes on to suggest that people buy traveler's insurance. So to wrap up, I want to look at the last article. This one is in Spanish. My Spanish is two semesters in high school. So you should not take my Spanish translation as gospel. My attempt to understand a different accounting of what happened, it may or may not be my accurate translation. So tourists were electrocuted in the hotel Rio Lupita in Puerto Morelos. So it's interesting here, there is a different hotel mentioned. So previously the hotel mentioned was this Azul Beach Resort, Riviera Cancun. And here it's saying that it is a hotel Rio Lupita in Puerto Morelos. So Okay, so fundamentally, it's hard to say what happened because at, we can't even agree on which property it was at. So as you may recall, the article uh, that I read from last week, it mentioned this Hotel Azul Beach Resort, Riviera Cancun. Now this article in Spanish, I'm limited in my translating abilities, but this article is going to name the Hotel Rio Lupita which is an actual hotel closer to Playa del Carmen. So let's have a look at what this article says in Spanish to the best of my abilities. In the Hotel Rio Lupito, something that happened, the events that occurred on the 28th of March, three people resulted in an accident at the installation of the hotel. The victims who have not yet been identified uh, were transferred to a local hospital where they received medical attention. According to the most recent information, they are outside of danger. But again, nobody's willing to say who's providing this update. The hotel for its part has communicated that they are something with the families and they are cooperating with the authorities to figure out the cause of the incident. So one of the offices of the state of Quintana Roo, the Protection and the Civil Authority of Puerto Morales, are doing an investigation into the accident. At this moment, there is not enough information of the circumstances. So to wrap up, we don't have a lot of information which hotel this event actually occurred at. All we know for sure is that three people from the same family, including a 14-year-old girl and her two parents, were electrocuted in a basin, in a pool somewhere in Mexico, whether it is Puerto Morelo or whether it is in Playa del Carmen. In any case, this is concerning for the swimming pool industry. Anytime you have any concerns about any electrical equipment, checking your grounding, your bonding, the nature of your equipment should be verified. And so this is a very concerning case. I will be looking for more information in terms of which hotel was it at specifically, I would appreciate knowing when it is appropriate to do so if the family is willing to discuss what happened, their nationality, their medical condition. Unfortunately, I suspect that they are very likely severely injured. The electrocution of any type is extremely dangerous, and it does say that there was a requirement to turn the power off. That would not have been instantaneous let's say 15 to 20 seconds for someone to run to a known breaker box to kill the power. Three family members went into the water and so the first victim had extended electrocution. I don't wanna to create too much conjecture. We don't have a lot of information, but electrocution is not a small injury. And for all three people to be hospitalized does suggest to me that it's a major medical event. And I will be looking for more details as it arises, hopefully in the investigation as to what exactly happened and how we can learn from this as an industry. If you have questions or comments, please put them in the box below. Please let us know if you like these shorter videos. Please let me know if you'd prefer to see a longer video with multiple topics discussed. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you again next week.